Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. In today's video, we are going to make this hit me toy. This is also more commonly called a roly poly toy. We won't only make these but also understand how they work. To make this, you'll need some balloons, rubber bands and some bouncing balls. Start by pushing the ball inside the balloon. Then stretch the balloon around the ball and tie a rubber band tightly as shown. Now turn the balloon inside out so that the ball is inside the balloon. Inflate it and secure it with a knot and that's it, your toy is ready. Get creative and design and decorate the toy as you wish. So are you wondering how they work? The science concept into play here is called center of gravity. Center of gravity is the point where the mass of an object is concentrated and equally distributed. In simple objects like a ball or a wooden block that is symmetrical and is made up of homogeneous material, the center of gravity lies exactly in the geometric center of the object. Take this wooden block for example. The center of mass of this block is somewhere roughly in the middle. The center of gravity always acts perpendicular to the surface. The point of contact between the object and the surface is called the pivot point. Now I will tilt the wooden block on this corner so this will be our pivot point. Here, this is the line of pivot. On tilting this block, you'll see that the point of center of gravity moves with it. When I tilt it too much and the point goes beyond the pivot line, the center of gravity is outside the line and this pulls the block downwards and it falls. But if the point is anywhere before the line, the center of mass pulls it back into its position. Before we experiment more, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Now let's add some weight on top and make it top heavy. The center of gravity has shifted upwards because there is more concentration of mass on top. When I tilt the block, note how fast the point goes outside the pivot line. It barely tilts and then topples. Now we'll add some weight on the bottom. The center of gravity has now shifted downwards because the block is now bottom heavy. Notice how the block can tilt much more without the point of center of gravity going outside the pivot line. This means that lower the center of gravity is, more balanced is an object. This same concept is also applied to bikes such as the Royal Enfield. All the heavy metal is placed in the bottom that lowers the center of gravity and gives it more stability. Make sure you check out our video on some cool experiments on center of gravity. I have linked the video up here and in the description box as well. In this case, because of the clay, the center of gravity is actually below the pivot point which makes this pencil so easy to balance. Now what happens in our toy is since it has so much of air inside it, it is extremely light. The heaviest thing in this toy is the rubber ball which is right at the bottom. Because of this, the center of gravity of this toy is at the base or at the point of contact. Let's see what happens in this case. When the center of gravity is at the base, even after I tilt it completely, the line of center of gravity actually lies before the pivot point and this pulls it back on top. If I were to add a clip on the top of the balloon and increase the weight, 
the center of gravity is no more at the point of contact and this causes the balloon to fall and not come back to its initial position. If you make these center of gravity toys or try out any other experiments, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.